So we've spent some time uh, adjusting the hinges so that the top and bottom rest nicely against the tub. So we've had to play with the, the, the distance, the glasses from the wall by moving the hinges this way, backwards and forwards, and then retightening the screws. And then we've adjusted the shims such that um, we have a gap at this end which will accommodate the seal, which is a bit under three eighths. You can't get, go much less than that. And then we've had to put more shims on at this end in order to accommodate the uh, the um, odd lie of the tub and the wall. This this setup is actually uh, probably a worst case scenario, um, but um, now we're in position to be able to mark the holes up. And the last thing we need to make sure is that the glass is level this way. So I'm just going to hold the spirit level up. And then we'll move it a tweak if needs be. And we're ready to do the drilling. Uh, one way to stop the, the dust going is to stick a, a polythene bag underneath the drill slots um, to uh, catch it. Um, and then a couple of safety warnings. Number one, um, make sure there's no electrical or plumbing behind this. Hopefully the tiler will have set the, the backing and the stud up such that that's what you're going to drill into, but make sure you've got nothing in the way, otherwise you'll have a disaster on your hands. And then number two, make sure you wear safety glasses when you're drilling the holes. Okay, so we're drilling into porcelain tiles. It's very hard, very easy to crack. Um, so what we're using is a, an electric drill. Battery powered drills don't turn fast enough, I don't think. Uh, so I recommend an electric drill uh, and then starting with a small bit to just get through the surface of the tile and then using uh, actually a um, masonry bit to get into this. For natural stone you probably can use a carbide tip drill. Um, this one we have found that a hammer action is is necessary to get through the tile but the danger with hammer action is that you break the tiles so in any case you have to drill really carefully when you're doing this it's very very easy to crack the tiles <laughs> So after the holes are drilled, we've put the shower screen back into position, shimmed it up to the right height so that all the holes line up, and now we're just starting the screws into the holes. If the screws are too close to the hinges, you can put the um, edge of a shim into the, the gap just to, um, just to stop the screw scratching the hinge as it's rotating. So here we have the uh, door screwed up. I'll just show you the hinges. It naturally returns to the center position as well. So the last thing to do is to put the seals on. Uh, the bottom sweep has a profile like this and this should go in towards the tub. This bit hangs down and traps the water like that. And then we have uh, three pieces of wall sweep, one long and two short. Uh, I'm going to put the bottom sweep on first and then I'm going to put the wall sweep on after. So, here we are. And then just push it in towards the wall. And there we are. That's the, the bottom seal on. It needs to be squeezed up a bit more at this end. The seal needs to be trimmed to length, usually. Uh, this one's at the top. This one doesn't matter as much, um, but the two below need to be pretty, pretty exact on the length, just because there's going to be more water up, aimed at them. So there's the top one, squeezed on, and then you'll see that seals off against the wall. Push it right up to the hinge. bottom one. This is the most important and you'll see that we've run it straight down onto the, the bottom sweep. Left the bottom sweep sticking inside the glass so that it's close to the wall. Um, 
You can miter both of them at the bottom, but I think it actually is slightly better to run them straight across like this. There it is. And that completes the installation.